six or seven. Six, I think. Six. Six. Ben's just confirmed it's day six. We're in the car and we're on the way to the beach. We're having a beach day. We're meeting some friends down at the Gold Coast. We're literally driving back to where we came from last night when we were at dinner, but we don't really mind. We really love the coast. I think if we could move there, we would. So we don't mind driving there a couple of times on the weekend. The weather's like not amazing today. It's a lot cooler than it has been for the rest of the week and it's a bit windy, but what can you do? We're still gonna have fun, aren't we, Q? We're gonna dig lots and play in the sand and chase the sticks. Hey? Yeah. I'm super hungry, like borderline hangry. It's like nearly 10 a.m. and I've only had a coffee this morning. So I'm on the hunt for some food. Are we gonna stop and get food ASAP? Yeah, definitely want that. There's really not much option. So I'll just eat what I'll eat. It's the weekend. I'll have another cheat meal. Hey cubes. All right, so we've ended up in the Carl's Jr. <laughs> drive through We've both never had Carl's Jr. before. So apparently they have a veggie burger, which Ben has just ordered for me. So I'm gonna have that for breakfast. This is gonna be exciting. This is our first impression of Carl's Jr. Riveting content for you guys. Good to have been secured. Are you right? Feeding time. It is feeding, feeding time. Feeding. feeding time at the zoo. All right. Ben's holding the camera for me because I can't place it anywhere. So this clip is a bit funny. I'm really sorry about that. We got some chippies. They're like thick chips as well. Mmm, salty. And then, I'm guessing... Yeah, so this is my veggie burger. It feels humongo. Oh. Oh. That looks so good. Look at that. You're killing it, aren't I? Yeah, you're doing such a good job. Alright, I'm gonna do a taste test. This actually looks unreal. I don't know if it's just because I haven't eaten a burger in like six weeks or if it's actually... That's pretty good. That is very good. I reckon it's better than the Hungry Jack's veggie burger with like the veggie patty. Salad, big veggie patty. <laughs> Yum. All right, the final verdict on Carl's Jr. We really liked it. The burgers were really, really good. The salad in them was super fresh and it was like proper salad, not just like shredded lettuce like they have at McDonald's. It was like fresh, big, whole leaves of salad. Um, so yeah, I really liked it. Ben really liked his as well. We're not far from the beach now and some of the friends that we're meeting up with, they're bringing their little pup, Hank. I don't know how old he is, but he is probably still a puppy to be honest. We've never met him, but they haven't had him for too long and this is his first time at the beach. So Coop is gonna show him the ropes and teach him how to dig in the sand and how to run away from the scary waves. Hey Coops, you gonna make some friends? I think Hank is like a very similar breed to Cooper. I think he's a mini Foxy cross Jack Russell, but it looks like he's a lot smaller in photos. So it'll be interesting to see them next to each other because we were told that Cooper is a mini Foxy cross Jack Russell, but we think he has like Italian Greyhound in him maybe just because his legs are a lot longer than most mini Foxies or Jack Russells. So yeah, it'll be cool to see them next to each other to compare. Make me wanna 
butterfly Cross my heart and hope to die Alrighty guys, we are on the way home now from the beach. I didn't really vlog much while we were there because to be honest it's just really hard with water, sand and a camera, dogs, sunscreen, sweat, wind. It's just not a great combination. So I honestly didn't get that much footage, but we had lots of fun. Coop and Hank became friends. They're so similar. So Hank is actually a mini foxy straight. Um, so he is a little bit smaller than Cooper is and he's got like a darker coat, which was really cute. So it was really, really cool to like meet him and just catch up with Sam and Dave. Um, but yeah, now we're on the way home. I don't know what we have planned for the rest of the afternoon. It's Sunday, so it's like a chill day. We really don't have that much on. Cooper, who's that? Who's that? He's got sandy eyes. All right, so we just got home and on the way home, I stopped in at Woolworths and we grabbed some stuff to make homemade pizzas because on the way home, I was like, what can we do this afternoon? It's like a Sunday afternoon. We have no plans at all. Nowhere to be, nothing to do. So I decided that Ben and I are gonna have a little date night at home and we're gonna make homemade pizzas together. He did some research while I was in Woolworths and he found a really nice bottle of wine. So I went in and grabbed that. So we're gonna do like a wine and pizza night and watch some Netflix and maybe play some Yahtzee because that's like one of our favorite games to play together. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight and I'm actually so excited. It's already 3 p.m. and I'm super, super hungry because we haven't eaten since this morning when we stopped in at Carl's Jr. So we'll probably have an early dinner and make the pizzas and then just chill for the rest of the night. So I'll show you a little grocery haul of what I got for the pizzas. I've seen so many people talking about these high protein pizza bases recently. I think Connor, Kat and Jazz Hand have both posted about them on their Instagrams. So I decided to give them a try. The macros on them are pretty good. They've got 14.9 grams of protein and 22 grams of carbs. Like that's pretty impressive for a pizza base. So I'm excited to try them out. And then for toppings, we got some mushrooms, some spinach, some cherry tomatoes. I got some strawberries for my protein pancakes tomorrow morning. I may have also got some dark chocolate to have later. I got this like chili dark chocolate. I saw it, it was on special. And I feel like it's something Ben will really wanna try. So I don't know, I'm really intrigued. I can't wait to try it out. Um, these are for Ben's pizza. Obviously I don't eat meat, but I got him some ham and some pepperoni. I also got some Fropo chocolate ice cream because the macros on this are also really good. It's got 6.7 grams of protein, 94 calories per serve, and 6.9 grams of carbs. This is so good as well. When I'm craving like chocolate or something, which is usually at this time of the month because I'm due for my period any day now, which is probably why I'm like craving all of this stuff. Um, but I always have that in the freezer ready to go because it's like guilt free. I can have something super chocolatey and it just like satisfies my cravings. I also got some sliced black olives for my pizza. Ben doesn't eat olives, but I will load them on mine because I love them. I've also seen everyone talking about this recently. It's the Nat VR no added sugar salted caramel topping. Apparently this is really, really good. And again, the macros are like crazy. It's got less than one gram of protein, less than one gram of carbs, and less than one gram of fat. That's insane. So I'm gonna try this out on my protein pancakes. And then just some pizza sauce and some pineapple for the pizzas. So that's a little grocery haul. Also, I have a really serious question for you guys and I need to know your honest answers. Do you keep your chocolate in the fridge or in the pantry? Because I, I keep it in the fridge and anyone that doesn't is crazy. I don't know if it's because I live in Queensland in Australia and like if you don't keep your chocolate in the fridge, it's basically practically melted 24 seven, but like, crunching into a cold hard piece of chocolate as if that isn't the most satisfying thing ever i've had this debate with a few people i have a couple of friends that like think i'm crazy for keeping it in the fridge and i've contemplated whether or not i want to be friends with them anymore but i need to know what's the verdict like what's the most common answer for this because it keeps me awake at night not really
faces have gone really soggy and I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the low carb, high protein pizza bases or if we just should have like cooked them on a stone rather than aluminium foil in the oven. I don't know, but they've gone really, really soggy. I'm probably gonna have to eat mine with a knife and fork. It's that soggy. So still gonna taste good, I'm sure, but yeah, if you're gonna use these pizza bases, maybe try and cook them on a stone instead. We're also gonna watch The Killer Man on Netflix while we eat our pizzas. It looks like it's a bit of an action movie with Liam Hemsworth in it. I'll let you guys know at the end if it's worth watching or not. I thought I'd quickly show you guys what Ben did with the rest of the decorations the other day. So I've just been like super busy and didn't have a chance. And so he cleaned it all up for me and then put the rest of the decorations out. So he's put the little Christmas light in our firewood bucket and then the Santa please stop here sign. And then we've got these cute little lights, which I think I showed you guys the other day. These are actually from Kmart a couple of years ago. I don't know if they still sell them, but they are adorable. They're like little snow globes with Christmas trees in them. So he's hung them all across the fireplace guard and then around the fireplace. He put the gold Christmas tree on top of the fireplace. And then we've got the Christmas stockings hanging up and also one of the Merry Christmas garlands up here. It looks so cute. And we've also got the Christmas tree on and also the aircon because it's freaking hot. <laughs> so we watched about 10 minutes of that movie and then turned it off. It was just really slow at the start and not very interesting at all. So we're looking for something else to watch now, but I really want to try out that chili chocolate. I'm intrigued by it. I want to know if it's actually good. So let's do a taste test. Ben's going to try some as well. He's wearing my year 12 swimming carnival shorts. They don't even fit me anymore, but they fit Ben. All right, so this is what it is. Lint chili chocolate. Do you think it's going to be spicy? It just looks like normal chocolate. I can't taste the chili at all. Oh, there we go. It's just hit. Swallow it. When you swallow it, it's got like a spicy taste to it. That's so strange. The actual chocolate tastes really, really good, but then like you swallow it and you get that like spicy tingle in your throat. That is such a weird experience, wow. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's literally only 6.30 at night, but Ben and I are gonna hop into bed and I'm gonna cook up some popcorn and we're just gonna have a movie night and have an early night in bed i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas bye guys